Hi, my name is Randall Wesley. I'm the Vice President of Applications Engineering here at DigiKey. DigiKey is constantly on the lookout for new suppliers and technologies we think you may not know exist, and I'm here to talk about some of those. Today I've got a board from Digi International. Uh, this happens to be a cellular network data modem. It's in their standard XP footprint, so this is the actual radio. It's got a SIM card on this. It's made for hookup into uh, the Verizon telephone network. You get five megabytes of data buying this little kit that comes with a power supply and cable and documentation will allow you to experiment with hooking your product to uh, the internet via a data network. Now those data plans cost like three dollars a month. It uses the uh, the Cat1 uh, 4G LTE uh, platform. So this little development board allows you to experiment with it. There are going to be a, a long series of parts that are compatible with this. So this is a slick way of getting on the internet for your product. The other product that I have to show you is a chip from Trinamic. Now this is so small but um, the marketing material on this chip, I think, undermines the value of this chip. So there are catchy phrase terms, but to an engineer, this is a closed loop motor control solution that would otherwise be a DC, uh, a DC brushless motor controller. What it does is it gets the absolute a top performance that you can get out of a stepper motor. Now a stepper motor isn't going to outperform an AC, uh, DC brushless motor, but uh, if you need to get absolute maximum performance out of the stepper motor, this chip does it. It's, it's more expensive than the standard driver. This integrates the driver and the controller. And uh, what it does then is by sensing where the load is, it's able to drive only the amount of current necessary to keep the motor shaft where it needs to be. That means that it doesn't get hot. Turns out it's got 256 step micro steps between poles of, the, uh, of a standard stepper motor. So you can virtually hold it at an incredible resolution. Uh, and it is quiet. It makes no noise of the stepper motor. So the only thing you hear when the motor is running are its bearings. It's a, it's a first class chip. Now to use this, uh, they have happened to have, it turns out that chip is incredibly popular in 3D printers and uh, even more so. There's going to be more announcements coming. Uh, they make this little board that is compatible with the Pololu uh, RepRap 3D printer project. So there's a ramps board that is plugged onto an Arduino board and then the drivers on that chip. This little board has this little trinamic chip. So what you're able to do is to uh, try this chip out on a 3D printer. But of course you could put this on your own board too. It has easy access with the, uh, the headers that come with it. So you solder it in there, put that on your board. <clears throat> but if you've got a motor control problem uh, that's using stepper motors, you need to try the trinamic chips. Thank you for listening.